Hey guys, good morning. It is actually Monday now, so I skipped vlogging. Last time I saw you guys was on Friday. Did not vlog all weekend. I had a photo shoot on Saturday morning, and then I literally just relaxed because it had been such a long time since I could just relax about diet and working out. So that felt really great. Um, definitely feel a lot more relaxed today. Gonna get back on schedule today. Ate a lot of crap this weekend, so I feel a little bit icky today, but it's all good. I have no regrets. I actually didn't really gain weight, which was surprising, but that's cool. So I'm actually going to the doctor right now. Like I said in a previous vlog, I'm going to like, oops. I'm going to an all natural doctor for help with like sleeping and hormones and all that kind of stuff. So I'll keep you guys updated on that. And we're also going to be doing a leg day in this vlog. So see you guys after the doctor because I'm running late as usual. All right, I'm finally on my way to the gym. It's 3 p.m. now, so I went to the doctor. Um, they only did the, she only did the first part of the like exam today and then I get like all the info tomorrow on like what the kind of the next steps are. So I will obviously give you guys more information on that once I get that, that'll probably be in the next vlog. Um, this workout, I was going to conclude this vlog. I know it's kind of all over the place, so I'm sorry. My life's been a little bit crazy lately. Um, God, it is hot as hell outside. Woo! All right, so yeah, we are going to go to the gym. I got my pre-workout and BCAAs in here from Women's Best. I have the Strawberry Kiwi BCAAs and the Crazy Fruits pre-workout. If you guys are interested in those supplements, I will leave my discount code. I was gonna say something. I was also gonna say, I am going to make a supplements video, so if you guys wanna see that, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I kinda just wanna make a full in-depth video of what supplements I use and what their benefits are and that kind of stuff. So if you wanna see that, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up for me or leave a comment below that you wanna see that video and then I'll make it a lot sooner than, than planned. So yeah, we're gonna go work out some legs, which should be good because of all the calories this weekend. I should have lots of energy. I feel pretty energized. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys at the workout. And that's gonna conclude the vlog, so please make sure, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time, and enjoy the workout. Bye guys, I love you. Hey guys, I'm here with another voiceover. So lately, I have been starting my leg workouts with back squats. Of course, before my back squats, I go ahead and do my warm up with my glute activation exercises. I'll go ahead and link that for you guys below in the description box. Basically, it just helps your glutes act, get activated more and more so firing for your workout to get more of that booty work in. So I do like to start off with a warm up set on the back squats using just the barbell. Um, lately, I have been doing without shoes just because I think it feels better for me. Um, again, what you really want is a flat base for your feet to push off through your heels. Converse work as well. Also, squat shoes are great, um, but I just feel like being barefoot has helped me um, a lot more lately. So basically what you're gonna do is you wanna focus on pushing those knees out towards your pinky toes. Um, you wanna focus on getting a pretty good depth in there, and you want to focus on upping your weight every single set. So generally I add between five to 10 pounds for every set. I will go ahead and link the entire workout below in the description box for you so you guys can just screenshot it and take it to the gym with you. You also wanna focus on keeping that chest up, almost like you're sitting down in a chair, keeping that back straight as well. Um, and again, squats do take practice, so just focus on that and you will get better and better every time. So guys, moving into our first superset of this workout, you're gonna go ahead and hop on the Smith machine. Um, if you don't have a Smith machine, you can also do this with just free weights, but basically you're going to be doing lunges, back step lunges. Um, I do recommend going decently heavy, especially if you're on the Smith machine, just because it's easier to get up off the floor when you're on the Smith machine because of the resistance on it. Um, again, the entire workout will be listed below in the description box. So this is gonna be a super set. So we'll be doing two exercises back to back and then resting. For the lunges, you wanna focus on really getting that 
full depth range in there, making sure that that front knee is not going over your front toe, keeping that back straight and your chest up and really pushing through with that front heel. That's what's gonna activate your glutes the most. So then the next exercise of this superset, we're going to be doing single leg dumbbell bridges. Now for these, you can do it with or without the weight. Um, you can also use a plate if that's easier for you or a barbell, whatever is really easiest for you. Again, you're gonna be pushing through that heel that's on the ground and just squeezing those glutes at the top. You'll also feel this a lot in your hamstrings. Um, these are actually pretty difficult for me, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so I just did as many as I could on each side, especially after those lunges, your booty is already like super on fire. So just do as many as you can for these. And again, just really concentrating on pushing through with that heel and um, using those hips as well. All right guys, moving into our next superset, we're gonna start off with elevated lunges. I know I feel like I've been doing these in every single leg day, but I've just seriously been loving them and I feel like they are just amazing for the bootay and the quads and the hamstrings and all that good stuff. So basically, you're just gonna get on a little bit of an elevation here. I just have a deadlift platform at my gym that I use, but you can use a little step up that you generally most gyms have. Um, as long as you're just a little bit up off the ground, that will work. Again, if you don't wanna do that and you're just more of a beginner, you can just do regular back step lunges with dumbbells. You can also use kettlebells, you can use a barbell. Um, I just feel like lunges are such a great booty workout and I've really been trying to incorporate them a lot more into my leg days. And again, we're gonna move straight into our next exercise, which is going to be RDLs. For these, you're not gonna be on an elevation. You're basically just going to be, this is more of a hamstring workout, so you're gonna be keeping those dumbbells close to your shins. You're gonna be keeping that back straight. You're gonna be keeping that chest up and just pulling with those hamstrings and really focusing on that for that workout. Guys, for our last and final superset, we're going to be doing jumps over the bench. It's just going to be a little bit of a burnout set. Um, we're going to be doing a superset, so we're going to be doing these jumps with the um, body weight glute bridges that you'll see in a second. Basically, I just like to burn everything out, get a little extra cardio workout in there. These are definitely more of a cardio workout. And again, for these, you can also add a band if you'd like, but I just like to do as many as possible. Just really concentrate on squeezing those glutes and squeezing those hamstrings at the top. Tuck that chin in and just really pull those hips through and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Again, you can add a band if you'd like a little bit more of a workout, but I was pretty toasted by the end of this, so um, I just tried to do as many as possible until I wanted to die. So guys, that's gonna be the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and of course, subscribe to my channel so you never miss another workout with me and another vlog with me and all that good stuff. So I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.